Hi, I'm Ian Reñon, an independent alternative media practitioner, among other things. And I am recording this audio-only uh, stuff because this has to be said. This has to be said, and I honestly really don't want to talk about this. But then again, it has to be said. I don't, I don't care if I am not really affected by this but since this happened in the most powerful nation in the world the world is uh, affected by this especially the Philippines because we are technically a defense ally defense and economic ally of the United States and beyond that they have a lot of history with us whether we like it or not so with that said let me share something that I need to talk about. And it's about Stephen Kenneth Bonnell II, a.k.a. Destiny. You see, much has been said about the assassination attempt on Donald Trump, that it has been oversaturated with too many opinions that even non-Americans like me are chiming in, and rightfully so. And out of all the things that has been talked about, and it's possible it would just keep going in the next few weeks and months, it seems to everyone with a working brain who will never wish a bad life to their opponents and enemies or wish that they get shot at or domed just because of their perspectives of for that matter, that a certain terminally online nihilist with a tragic story and a deranged shell of a personality just took all of the attention to himself because he wanted the incident and made sure that he w would win the argument by hook or by crook, even at the expense of civility, decency, and morality. Again, I am talking about Stephen Kenneth Bonella II, more known online for his screen name, Destiny. And at this point, here's what you need to know of the guy a TLDR of his life so far, if I say so myself. If you wanted to have a very, very detailed uh, explanation about his background, there are a lot of YouTube videos out there from other commentary creators. I recommend you search it out on YouTube for yourself. You need to do some of the things. Uh, I'm not spoon-feeding you. But the TLDR is this. Destiny is a game streamer turned political commentator who happened to be a promiscuous degenerate, to put it lightly. A self-confessed liberal, he was seen by many as the most sensible of all bread tubers. And when I say bread tubers, it's basically the leftist uh, commentators on YouTube. Until he wasn't. Recently, it was revealed that he had a son that he abandoned and got hitched to a woman who might have a body count that is into th the three to four digits in an quote-unquote open marriage only to only uh, for her to leave him for a more soy boyish Swede PewDiePie is warning us about. You remember uh, PewDiePie screaming from the top of his lungs, Soy boy! And then... Uh, <laughs> There's a related Martia video. Uh, they were not yet married at that time, but uh, there's a Martia video when she was still on YouTube and uh, it, uh, when she was still not uh, in, uh, back in the or, um, uh, working conjugally in uh, in Felix's uh, YouTube channel. Uh, there is this um, video of her uh, doing her stuff, and then Felix is <laughs> um, heard. Uh, Shouting soy boy or something like that, and um yeah, uh I'm getting massively sidetracked here, but you get you get the drill. Uh, the woman left uh destiny for a more soy boyish Swede PewDiePie is warning us about, which makes Bonnell not only a cuck, but also a soy boy. <laughs> so that really sucks. Now, here's the thing about gamers getting into the political sphere. They are the grifters they themselves are warning their fans about. 
a perfect case of rules for the not for me behavior. It only got worse when he became the master debater we know him as, as ejaculating spermy thoughts as a spread on nothing burgers and as dressing on word salads when what was needed was actually a grain of salt and a cup of tea. All of those puns slightly intended. Now, quite honestly, I am envious that Bonnell is making money money for all his stupidity given his gaming origins. But then again, I have realized that at least I have a more decent and honorable job that not only makes money for myself and basically uh, help me make a living, but also, the, but also perhaps would make a real difference in the world. No wonder Matt Walsh from the Daily Wire despises all gamers and calls video games a brain rot to society during Gamergate 2.0 a few months ago, even if that was a bit of a bridge too far. With that being said, as I still seek to be an occasional gamer someday and not worry about content because, for me, it's not supposed to be. I just wanted to enjoy playing and maybe if I stream it or maybe if I share it on a, or record it and upload it on YouTube just like Fly Daily or Odd Boss, yeah, you're, you're making, you're, um, uh, I'm, Basically, I basically wanted wanted to play War Thunder if it's not for my internet connection and the current equipment that I have. Perhaps also uh, Command and Conquer Generals and all of the other good Command and Conquer uh, strategy games or um, uh, video games and uh, or versions in the franchise. Why not? I'm into those kind of things. I would really love to just enjoy playing. But going back to uh, Destiny. It seems to me that he intends to be the shining exemplar of liberal politics in a democracy when in fact he just turned himself into the shiniest turd because of his take on the Trump assassination attempt. But to conclude, I will do the opposite of what Destiny has done and say this to the man first known as Stephen Bonnell. I do not wish you a bad life. Stephen, you need to get a life or at this point, get your life together. I will only repay bad things that you have done to other people with good because I understand that you still have some good intentions in your heart even though it's a bit callous. But Destiny really needs to take a break from all his deranged nonsense go offline for a very long while, go outside, make up time for his son, this is very much important, listen to people and understand where they're coming from, and yes, touch some fucking grass. And trust me, these are also advices I would like to impose on myself. You know, practice what you preach, and so I would really love to do this myself because I don't really want to be like Destiny. I don't really, really want to do the things that he has done in the past few days. It's just bullshit. Okay? What he has done there is bullshit. I am not uh, going to uh, perpetuate whatever he has said because what wherever you are in the political spectrum uh, globally, a murder attempt is a murder attempt. Killing someone is still a fucking crime, even though you hate his guts. However, it might seem that my advice would never be heeded, as after watching watching Tra- Trent Horn's assessment and even Michael Lofton's take, both of these are Catholic guys who uh, are also on YouTube, it seems that Destiny is hellbent, quite literally, on continuing his unhinged commentary because he has nothing left to lose than his pride. And as we all know, pride is the sin of the devil that thrusted them down from heaven to hell. Such is the destiny of Stephen Kenneth Bonnell II. 
or let me rephrase that. If he does not make any realizations at this point, such is the destiny of Stephen Kenneth Bonnell II. With all that said, this is Intrepidy and Rignon reminding you to at all times be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Until then, look alive, stay alive, be kind to yourself and to each other, and please, if you have some someone or you have beef with someone, please, for the love of everything that is holy, do not, I repeat, do not wish the other person a bad life. Because it might just come back at you. There's a possibility like that. And as always, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to just record this and upload it. Just a few tweaks here and there. But then I'll upload this very much uh, in a raw state. From here in Intrepid HQ, see you next time. Ian out.